Today, massive container ships transport 90% of everything the world produces. At one of America's largest ports, Long Beach, California, an extraordinary feat of engineering must unfold to get the cargo off the ships and onto the nation's store shelves. But a new wave of mega-sized container ships now under construction will make that job even tougher. Can longshoremen, the dock workers who already do one of the most dangerous jobs in America, carry the extra load? Look out for the mega container ships, this time on Extreme Engineering. It's 2 p.m. on a Monday afternoon, and the Hanjin, Washington is three miles west of Long Beach, California. She sailed from South Korea 11 days ago carrying 60,000 tons of high-def TV sets, motorcycles, and fresh fish, packed inside 2,650 steel containers, each one the size of a city bus. She's average size for a container ship, almost a quarter mile long, 140 feet wide, and drawing 39 feet below the waterline. For the captain and crew, the long voyage is nearly over. But the toughest part looms ahead. They've got to park this monster at a pier inside the port of Long Beach. To do that, the captain needs expert help. He needs Vic Schisler. Okay, I'm ready to go. Don't let the business suit fool you. Vic's the guy you want at the wheel when you're trying to bring a 100,000 ton ship to berth. Many consider Vic one of the finest harbor pilots on the West Coast. It's important to have a pilot on board because the captain knows his ship very well. He knows the ocean very well. He does not know the Port of Long Beach. I bring the local knowledge that I've accumulated in the last 35 years. But to pilot the Hanjin Washington, Vic first has to get himself on board. Good afternoon, Captain. Uh, we're departing the breakwater now, headed out for your ship. We request a heaving line for a pilot bag uh, when the boat comes alongside, please. The massive container ship is doing 12 knots, and she won't stop just for Vic, but she will at least slow down. And also, we request uh, about six or seven knot speed for boarding today, please. Boarding speed at six or seven knots. Uh, For Vic personally, what's coming up next will be the riskiest part of the voyage. shoes doesn't make the climbing easier. Security, all those concerned, hands in Washington approaching Queens Gate, Long Beach, inbound for berth 140, port side two, standby channel 13, hands in Washington. But Vic can't dock this ship by himself. He needs help from the new marshal in town, the Marshal Foss. The most powerful tractor tugboat on the entire West Coast. 
just 98 feet long, she packs a screaming 6,250 horsepower in her twin engines. Captain Mark Walsh can turn her on a dime. Marshall Foss. Hey Vic, how are you? The stern is the hardest part of the ship to maneuver, so that's where Vic wants Mark to attach his tow line. strength on this line is 880,000 pounds. This is what we stop the ship, we pull the ship, we push the ship and all that. Now Vic is ready to maneuver the big ship. They're entering the basin where they can turn her. Now begins a dangerous dance between ship and tug. Vic's got just 100 feet of elbow room to rotate the ship 220 degrees. On Vic's command, Mark steers to starboard. Washington's massive stern begins to swing around. You're always on your toes. You're trying to work with the pilot, understand what he's going through. Vic uses a small engine in the bow to help propel the ship around. Marshall, go to 45 now. He's almost completed the turn, but the trickiest part still lies ahead. He must guide the ship backwards to parallel park behind another Hanjin Company vessel already tied up. And the stern of that ship is just 100 feet away. involved with this maneuver is when you're looking over the containers out towards the bow is judging the distance it's very difficult to do that he's making judgments based on markings on the dock well, we want to try to get the bridge at the 500 foot mark on the dock right. Dead slow, starting to port. Okay, Captain, good position. Welcome to Long Beach. Yeah. Okay, have a good day. The job done. <laughs> happy no noise but one day soon Vic's job is going to get much harder because the ships are getting bigger